Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello, good to see you. How are you tonight? How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How's everything? Are you okay? We're gonna start in a minute, okay? We're gonna give some some time to people who haven't just entered to the class. How many do we have in the group now? Five. So we're we're gonna wait for the rest, okay? I can say Ligia, good evening. Jacqueline, good evening. Maritza, good evening. Joanna. And Jose Guillermo, good evening. Hope everything is all right. We're gonna wait a little bit, it, but but in order to take advantage of time, so do me the favor to share uh, something that you have learned lately. Algo que han aprendido en, en los últimos días de inglés. Recuerden, esa va a ser como una pregunta como de inicio, ¿eh? ¿qué aprendiste ahora en inglés? So, for example, Maritza. Maritza Portillo. Hello. Hello. Ah. Hello, hello. Tell me or tell us, share something that you've learned lately in English. <laughs> puede ser una frase, puede ser una palabra, puede ser pronunciación que usted haya aprendido que jamás se le va a olvidar. Puede ser okay. algo, tiene que ser algo nuevo, corto, largo, como ustedes prefieran, pero algo nuevo, ir aprendiendo algo nuevo. Algo nuevo de lo que ya hemos aprendido anteriormente. Ajá, algo que usted dice, oh, bueno, okay, yo me okay. voy a aprender esto porque quiero incrementar mi nivel de inglés. Ok, bueno. Good night. My name is Marisa Aguilar. Eh, es como, bueno, eh, no sé cómo explicar, pero... Eh, Permítame. Según veo yo acá, eh, bueno, my name is Marisa Aguilar. Eh, is to me you is um, in my class. In my class, este, <laughs> no sé qué más decir. Okay, Marisa, think about it. Hey, pues, recuérdense. Uh, tienen una tarea perenne conmigo, ¿verdad? Que es aprender una, una palabra nueva, una frase nueva, una oración nueva, una canción nueva. La cosa es eh, que a diario deben de aprender algo nuevo que no hayamos visto en clase o añadir algo a lo que vimos en clase. O sea, esa es la intención. La cuestión es ir aumentando el nivel de inglés. Let's listen. Liliana. Elvira. Hello. Hello. Good, Good evening. evening. Good evening. Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Yeah, something new that you have learned in English. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello. Um, today or yeah, last today. days? No, today, today. Mm, maybe the, the word give up. Ah, that give... is something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello, good give evening. Up. Roxana. It rendirse. Can, uh -huh, Excellent. That's what I'm looking But for. You can use in a sentence like, you can never give up. Excellent, Liliana. Never give up. Now, that's a good example. Miren, ese es un ejemplo genial. Eh, give up. Si solo decimos give, eso es el verbo dar, pero ya si le agregamos up, give up, ya toma otra. Es algo que Liliana encontró como curioso y dijo, me voy a aprender esta frase 
Y además de eso, voy a dejar un mensaje en la clase. Never give up. <risa> Nunca te des por vencido. Never give up. Excellent, Liliana. Good. Thank you. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Eso es lo que yo estoy buscando. Que cada quien vaya como incrementando vocabulario, frases, etcétera, para que uh, el idioma se vaya, se vaya um, haciendo más amplio. Ok. Eh, please, teacher, perdón. Oh, eh, Maritza. Eh, yo, sí, perdón, yo por lo menos he aprendido a I want not. I haven't you ever seen in the rain. Have you ever seen eh, the rain? Excellent. The rain coming that um, sunny day. Good, sunny day. Y, y, y eh, sun is good and the rain is hard, creo que así se pronuncia. Okay. Poquito a poco he ido eh, como que alternando esas, esas palabras que no las conocía. Great, great. Esa es, la, esa es la idea, que sean expertos, digamos, en cada frase que aprendan. O sea, give up, never give up, don't give up. Ok, um, and the ones that you mentioned, like sunny day, it's better to listen to a song in a, in a rainy day or something like that, but you mentioned some, some expression that you have learned lately. Ok, pretty good. Eso está bien. Ok. Porque, miren, aunque la gramática quizás no la hayamos visto, pero la pronunciación se va quedando. Okay, let's listen to Jacqueline. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jorge. Hi, teacher. Hi. Mm. Quiero ver. Y me estaba aprendiendo algunos verbos, pero igual todavía no los domino bien. It's okay. Por ejemplo, get, get on, get if. Y también me estaba aprendiendo el abecedario porque algunas palabras siempre se me olvidan. Ok. Y me estaba okay. aprendiendo algunas cosas. Ok, that's important, right? That is important. Hey, hacerse una autoevaluación es importante. Si por lo menos ya pasamos el alfabeto y todavía como que no lo manejo al 100, entonces cada quien se conoce a sí mismo, ¿verdad? Y no es bueno dejar pasar un tema sin que nos lo aprendamos. Eso la felicito, Jacqueline, porque este, aquí no se trata de una carrera que a ver quién llega primero al final, sino que quién aprende mejor. Eso, eso es lo que vamos a ir buscando siempre. Ok, so that's quite good. So tomorrow we'll continue talking about some expression that you have learned lately, okay? Because that's going to be like a permanent a homework. Es una tarea permanente que yo siempre dejo a los grupos de participantes. Okay, aprender algo nuevo todos los días. Sea una expresión larga, una expresión corta, una canción, un cuento, lo que sea. Pero aprender, aprender, aprender. Okay, now we're going to work a little bit. Now I want to I wanna share some of the topics that we're going to discuss during this week. This is what number of, of the week we are in, people. This is week number? ¿En qué semana estamos? Week number? Two, two. Number Three. two. This is number two, right? But this, two, two. Second. Yeah, this is the second week, but the section, where is the section? We're gonna the second be week. Yeah, but what is the section? Section one, section two. And we're gonna be working in section three. 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 Section three. Section number three. And over here, we're going to encounter some topics such as, well, we're gonna see one conversation, okay? And actually, this conversation is about some questions in English. Okay, we're going to continue working a little bit by using just uh, stay, just no, I mean, positive statements, negative statements, questions, whatever to be. We also are going to continue working with negative statements and just no questions, whatever to be. Syllable stress, number and ages, questions, whatever to be. I mean, but double H questions, okay, with the verb to be, we're going to see adjectives also in English. And 
the most important, I mean, not, not the most important, but one of the activities that uh, is quite important for this week is the midterm. Okay, tenemos el examen de medio curso esta semana. Lo pueden empezar a trabajar ya. Okay. Eh, recuérdense que esas son actividades importantísimas las de la plataforma. All right. So, we're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to see some, something here. And we're going to listen to the way people uh, speak. American people. Okay, so but first off, we're gonna see the way we are pronouncing. Okay, uh, the conversation starts with well, we have conversation between Tim and Jessica. Okay, Tim, Jessica, Tim, Jessica, Tim, Jessica. So we have like two, four, six, eight, nine participations. And where do you think they are? Where are they? Where are they? Students. Ah, they are in a school, maybe. Where are they? Yeah, they are in a school and do you think they are celebrating? Yes. Yes, they are, right? They are celebrating. Mm -hmm. they are, maybe they are celebrating the beginning of the year. Okay. But we don't know, but we have these par these participations in how do you read or how do you pronounce the first part people this one uh -huh. Tim says are you from California Tim uh, are okay. you from uh -huh. are no. you from I'm from Where are you from, from California Jessica and uh, no it is the environment. Okay, and I will switch into Spanish a little bit. Quiero, quiero que aprendan um, a hablar inglés de manera natural. Okay, fijémonos en el ambiente. Okay, y imaginémonos cómo, cómo, cómo puede ser una conversación en, esta, en este ambiente. Okay, de manera mm -hmm. natural. So, Tim says, Are you from California, Jessica? And Jessica says, well, my well, family well, is in my... California, but we're from Korea originally. Excellent. Now sounds better, right? ¿Se, se dan cuenta? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo cambia la entonación, el entusiasmo y todo? Hace que la participación sea más significativa. Ok, and Tim says. Tim, oh. Oh, my, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Okay, when when I play the track, notice about the way to pronounce soul. And Jessica says, no, no, we're not from Seoul. We're from, we're from no, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. Dijon. All right. Notice about this pronunciation also. And finally, Tim says. So, is so your first language, language Korean? Korean? So, is your first language Korean? Uh, so, is your first language Korean? Yes. It is. It is. Yes, it is. All right. It is. Now, we're going to listen to it. Fíjense cómo ellos pronuncian el, el environment. Environment quiere decir este, el ambiente donde ellos se desenvuelven. Y luego lo vamos a leer uh, para reafirmar pronunciación, entonación. Ok. Pay attention. Hi, everyone. Do you listen? Yes. Yeah. this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. 
So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Okay, simple like that, right? So, do you notice the way they pronounce? Now, once again, how do you listen to Tim talking? Are you from California, Jessica? All right, are you from California, Jessica? Well, I'm California now, but where you were from Korea originally. All right, we're from Korea originally, okay? Oh, oh my, my mother, mother is Korean, Korean from, from Seoul. Seoul. Are you, are you from, from Seoul? Seoul? Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from, from Seoul? Uh, did you did you hear Seoul or Seoul? Seoul. Seoul. Okay. Seoul. 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 No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Seoul. Dayan? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Dijon. Oh, oh, oh. Language first. Language Korean? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, we're going to play once again just for you to listen to it. It will be the last time. Okay, and I consider it important to listen to it so that you notice about the way you are pronouncing regarding to the way the the, the the conversation is all about. Hi, everyone. In this listen. class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You From Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Yes, it what is. I would Simple like you to do right? next is... Well, the guy is going to ask us to, to practice a conversation, something that we already did. Okay, so... Well, we're going to go over the next part, okay? We're going to see that one of the objectives is to learn how to form negative statements and just no question with the verb to be. Actually, we were like practicing a little bit the last week, but tonight we're going to continue, okay? So we're going to see the information in the video. Pay attention, special attention, okay, to it. And especially to the way to pronounce it. See that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and so here Hi, you go. In this class, you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to... Okay, so let's continue checking pronunciation, okay? Now, how do you pronounce this? I'm not from the North. I'm not from New York. No, I'm not from New York. I'm not from I'm New York. I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York. I'm not from New York. I'm 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 not from New York. I'm this one. I'm, I'm not from New York. You're not late. You're not late. You're not late. Late. She's not from Russia. 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 Not from. It's not from Italy. It's not English. It's not English. We're not from Japan. We're not from Japan. You're not from Japan. 
They are not in Mexico. They are not in Mexico. Now, as you notice, the only thing to make the, ne the, the statement negative is by using not. Simple like that, right? So you have the verb to be, I mean, subject, the verb to be, and not. And the complement. That's, that's every, uh, I mean, that's everything about this. And also, when you say we are, we, we that are. is the contracted form we for are. we are. Where yeah. we are. Where are you from? Okay. Uh-huh. Now, well, take, wow. a look, take a look at the following. Okay. He's going to provide further information. For negative statements would be, you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. Let's try to make sense of this. I... Am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You. Late. Now let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow. Verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. And that's it, right? So let us analyze a little bit about the information this guy is presenting. Okay, and like, for example, when you have uh, just no question, I mean, you, you start by, are you from California? And they say, yes, I am. You never say, yes. No, this cannot be possible. Okay. Now, you are going to contract it only when you have negative. I mean, when the answer is negative. Are you from California? No, I'm not. Okay. But if you say yes, you say, yes, I am. No contraction, okay? Uh, are you early? Yes, I am. Or is she from Brazil? Yes, she is. Or no, she's not. Now over here you can contract. Or you say, no, she isn't, okay? But when, when answering yes, so you never contract. The verb to be okay. So, and something else that you need to keep in mind is about the order that we follow or the pattern that we follow to create sentences. First, positive statements we have the subject, we have the verb to be. I know, but this is negative, right? Then we have the word not and 
Finally, we have a complement and we have some examples. I am not from New York. You are not late. Okay, now by following this pattern. But when we have questions, you see, you start by using the verb to be at the beginning, am, is, or are, then you continue by using the subject and later you include the complement. Are you from California? Am I early? And that's it, all right? So questions about it, people? Questions? Eh, una no. pregunta. Tell no, me. Teacher. I have a question. Karen, go ahead. Eh, eh, no lo puedo decir en inglés, pero ¿cuándo es que no tenemos que contracturar este, el verb to be? Ok, so... Eso no have... me quedó... Sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. So you have just no questions, right? So you say, uh, is she from Japan? Is she from Japan? If you say, yes, comma, ¿se puede, ¿se puede hacer eso? Yes. No. 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 Uh -oh. no. 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 No se puede. No se puede. Yes, she is. Ajá. Yes, she is. So, what is the best option then? What is the best option? Yes, she Sería, is. Yes, she is. Is she from Japan? So the best option is yes, she, she is. is. Period. Yes, okay, now, is. but if you are answering that she is not from Japan, so you may say no. You will say like, no, she isn't. She is not. Or, oh. no, she, she is not. Uh, no, she's not. All right? So do you see the difference? Yes. Yes, yeah. right. So whenever you answer uh, with, a, with a yes, with yes, so you are not going to contract the verb to be. But if you are using the okay. negative the negative form, or you are answering the question in the negative form, so you can do it. That's it, okay. right? Pretty good. Now let's Thank see. you. You're welcome. Okay, so this is actually the information that we got from this video. I, I looked for some extra info, as I usually do it, so that you have further information and more exercises. Now, I have this part, and we're going to see this chart, which is very similar to the one that we have just uh, seen in the video. This is very similar, okay? So I'm not, you're not, she's not, he's not, it's not, we're not, you're not, and they're not, okay? So what, what really makes the statement negative is the word not. Okay, are you from Sao Paulo? Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, she is. Yes, he is. It is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. And yes, they are. So as you notice, we do not contract the verb to be. Okay? So it's the same information. We saw in the video, but over here we have some exercises, such as, for example, we need to. We are gonna complete this exercise. Are Diana and Mario from Ecuador? No. No. No, they, they are, are not. They are, they are, are not. not. 
Not they, do you may say not they're not, they are not or not they aren't, right? Aha. Uh -huh. And they're here from Mexico. They are, they from, are Mexi from Mexico. They're from Mexico. They are. They're from Mexico. They're from Mexico. And over here, you from Mexico uh, too. Are, are you from Mexico too? Are you from Mexico? I, you no, know. I am not. No, I am not. I am not. No, I'm, I'm not. not. No, I'm, I'm not. not. I'm not. I'm from Colombia. So. It is your first language. You, language Spanish. You, so, uh, it is your first language Spanish? It's okay? It's okay? Yeah, it is. And no. No, it is not. <laughs> Because if you include Don't it, judge. it is, then you are yes. affirming. And what do you, what do we have here? We have one question, right? It is a question. Yes. Is your first language Spanish? That's Spanish? Is your first. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right. Now, in the second one, let's see. I think we have another one here. We have hi, ji hi, or I don't know how to pronounce this. I think they are from from um, Korea are, or somewhere. Are right? you? Ji hi, uh, you in? Are you? Okay. Are you? Are you in Guangzhou from South Korea? Yes, we. We are. Yes, we are. And from Seoul. Yes, they are. And you, and you are from Seoul. No, but is it you are? Is that the, the the structure are for a question? Are you? Are you? Are sorry, you? are you? Okay, are you? and are you? Are you from Seoul? No, no, I am not. not. I am not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am not. I am not. I know. Because we're no, talking well, about two no. people, right? No, I'm, no, I'm not. No, we are not. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're from. We're from Brazil. We're from. Okay. Now, I think there is another one. This is going to be the last one. Uh, Mira from England. Mira is a woman, right? I think it's a woman. Is. 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 Mira. Is Mira from the English? From England? No. No. She's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. She's not. Because no, she's, she's not. From she's not. She's from Australia. Is she from Sydney? Is she, she from Sydney? 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 Okay, I will teach you something on here because I, I did it with the, with the other participants. I will do it with you also. Now, when we have, let me see. When we have this, he, she, or is we need or we're going to blend sounds vamos a unir sonidos okay so for example over here we have double s right tenemos dos letras iguales is and actually you may say is she uh -huh. but when you speak naturally Cuando hablan de manera natural, suena solo una S. Is she? Is she? Is she? Uh -huh. Is she? Is so she? Now, over here, for example, we have, is she from is Sydney? She? And the same happens is with she? this one. Is she from Sydney? Is she? Is she? Is she? Is she? 
Ese, ese, ajá, ese, 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 So in this one we have yes she is yes she is yes she is but her parents are from India. They are not they 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 not they are not they are not They're from Australia originally. Is Mira's first language. First language Hindi. Is Mira's first language Hindi? Hindi. No, she's no, not. No, she's not. No, no, it's no, it's not. No, it is. It's English. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's English, right? No. No. no, it's uh, it's it's English. Is that right? It's English. It's English. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, I will share. Voy a compartirle siempre los enlaces para que ustedes puedan hacer un repaso. Los enlaces que vamos a ocupar en esta noche. Por ahí los pueden ir visualizando en el chat. Okay, so, well, actually we solved these exercises and it was quite easy, but if we go to this part, acá vamos a tener tiempo, okay? Van a haber 10 oraciones y hay que ordenarlas en 3 minutos, si mal no recuerdo. Okay, so we need to, to, to you need to tell me the sentence quickly. Me dicen cómo quedan las oraciones lo más pronto posible para ordenarlas y a ver si logramos sacarnos el 10 en esta actividad, ¿ok? ¿Ready? ¿Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Ok, here we go. Ready. Number one. Ready. Tell me, please. Time is running, time is running. No, no. Toronto is, capital, no. Toronto is not the capital of Canada. Okay, number one. We need to get 10. Tenemos que hacer 10. Okay, let's continue quickly to the next part. Oops, number two. Uh, where where from Buenos Aires Buenos Aires bueno. we're not from Buenos Aires excellent number three quickly el tiempo uh, corre uh, Ashley uh, and you uh, are uh, not uh, Ash in my, class. No, in my class, you and Ashley you are in my class. Are Ashley and you, you and Ashley in class? You are not in my class. Ashley and you are not in my class. You are Ashley, you are not in my class. I'm not in my class. In my class. Good. Number four. Uy, el tiempo no está... Number four. Number five. 
My mother is not from Italy. Okay, next one, number six. Number six, quickly, people, quickly. They are not my parents. 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 Number seven. The language in India is only spoken Hindi. Hindi is not language. Hindi is not the only language. Hindi is not the only language spoken in spoken. India. Not, 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 Hindi is not the only language spoken in India. India. In India. Great. Oops, time is running. Number eight. Uh, the the United is not the teacher is not the teacher. The teacher is not from the United States. The teacher English is not from the United States. The teacher English is not from the United States. The teacher English is not from the United States. No, the, the English teacher is not from the United States. The English teacher is not from the United States. 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 The English teacher. The teacher. The English teacher. The English teacher. The English the French French is not French Grace French Grace is is not of language French not of French language. French, French, French language French is, is not, not spoken, spoken in Greece. In Greece. <laughs> hey, we were missing only two. Hey, we got a hey, six from ten. <laughs> wow. Okay, but now you have you have the exercise, right? Now you have the exercise. You can you can continue working on it until you get the ten. Hasta que tengan el 10, lo continúan trabajando, okay? So, in other words, people, in other words, we're going to be like trained to, uh, well, no, we, we still have another one on here. Now, over here, you know, how do you pronounce that? Um, I, and I, 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 right? I, 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 Listen, am I right? 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 
Is she here? Is she here? Is she a nurse? 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 Is it second hand? Is it second hand? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Now listen, listen. When you use this word, wrong, wrong. Forget about W. Are we wrong? Wrong. 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 Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? That's are better, wrong? right? Are we wrong? Are we wrong? Are you are wrong? This are wrong? you Alan Parker? Are you Alan Parker? You are Alan Parker. Are you Alan Parker? Are they American? Are they American? Okay, what's missing over here? Jane and Alice sisters? They. No, it's a question. Are my are are Jane and Ali sisters? Are your cars? Is this car here? Is the car yours? And in your way? Am I? Am I? Number four, Maria John's sister. You, 25 years old. Are you? Are you? That means divorced. R is or R. R. Is is is. We're gonna check it. Okay. We're gonna check it. Very good. Okay. Are Jean and all his sister is this car yours? Am I in your way? Is Maria John's sister? Are you 25? Are the Smiths divorced? And is this your new bicycle? All right. Good. So, you have, yeah, you have more ex examples there, more exercises, right? Over here. You, you, are you? No, but this is, you need to read, right? Click on the words in the correct order to make positive. Sentences with the verb to be. Are you are yes. yes. Am I? So, but I think uh, it's better if you complete it by your yes, own. I, uh, are you? You are hot. So yes, it's because am we, I. because we are need to you? make we need to make we need to make positive statements. We see the uh, question, uh, right? So we yes, need to make yes. Some uh -huh. You are hot. No, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am hot. You are hot. Yes. You are hot. Are hot. Hot. No question. That's positive, right? Oh. Book, jury. Oh, nice question. Uh -huh. mm. This is your book. Ah. Yes, your. This is your book. This is. Your book. This is your, this is your book. book. This, this is your Mr. Mr. Peters. This day is from the United States. United States. is from the United States. Mr. Peters, Mr. Peters, from, 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 from the United States. Mr. Mr. Peter is from United States. Mr. Mr. Peter. 
from is from the United States. Buenas. Buenas. Are they married? Are married. They are. They are. They are married. They are married. They are married. Number five. I am right or no, 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 no. wrong. Right or wrong. No, eso no. Eso es en laboratorio. I'm right or wrong. Right or wrong. Doris, your Sandra is me. Sandra's daughter. Your name? Your daughter's name is Sandra. Good. Good. No, me dicen de que mañana lo puede venir a dejar porque esta niña no, 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 que mentira, no, así que así. Ah, pues entonces Sí, no lo llevo. Llévese, pero con esta misma orden. No okay. lo voy a dejar. Va en el micrófono. Por silencio. Thank you, thank you, thank for, for... Los que... Okay, your daughter's name is Sandra, and the last one? You are Mr. Jenkins. Mm -hmm. You are Mr. Jenkins. You are Mr. You are Mr. All right, so now in this way we can like be like playing with different different I mean forms with the verb to be okay and that's why tonight we have just a practice a little bit so in other words people in other words we have the verb to be and with the verb to be you will notice that we have positive statements such as okay I will say this and then you will tell me the contractive form I am I'm. 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 You are? I'm. I'm. I am. 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 I Okay, and in the negative statement, you can say it like with no contractions and by using contractions also. I am not, I'm not. You are not, I'm not. He's not, she's not, she isn't. It is not, we are not, we are not. they are not. Yeah. Okay, pretty good. We also have questions and remember that we have just no question. Am I, are you, is she, is she, is it, are we, are they? And well, this info is going to be useful for the future because we're going to continue talking about it. Okay, double H question words such as where, what, why, when, when and how. When? Oh, and, how? and all of them are used with the verb to be am, are, is. So let me see. I need to, I need to, yeah. Um, oh, here. I think it's better over here. So uh, we're going to try to finish with this. Vamos a tratar de terminar con esto, cerrar con esto. A este le vamos a llamar primera persona singular. I. Segunda persona singular, you. A estos tres le vamos a llamar tercera persona singular. Third person singular. A este le vamos a llamar primera persona plural. Y a este, tercera persona plural. ¿Por qué se los digo? Porque les va a servir muchísimo que se aprendan esto. ¿Ok? 
first person singular, second person singular, third person singular. Aquí debería estar otro you, you are, que sería la forma plural de you. Aquí es singular, pero aquí sería plural, you are. Okay, so you this are. is important. It's important for you to remember it. So and in order to finish, people, because we, we have to finish. Let me see. Okay, uh, do me the favor. No olviden, por favor, cerrar micrófono cuando no están participando. Acuérdense que eso ayuda mucho en la clase, muchísimo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and in order to finish, vamos a cerrar con la actividad que nos presenta acá la plataforma. Okay, we started about this conversation, just no questions. So uh, tomorrow we're going to study about syllable stress. Okay, investigan esto de syllable stress, es esta tarea. Okay, y acá vamos a cerrar con esto. So, it says, complete the conversations, write the correct answer. Conversation number one. Hiroshi, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, yes we, are. we are. Yes, we are. Yes, oh, we are. You from Tokyo? Are you from Tokyo? Are you from, from Tokyo? No, not. No, I'm are, not. I'm, I'm not. not. It says plural, plural. Well, uh, you're no, not. we're not. You are. We, we are. We, we, we. We're not. No, we're not. We're not. Plural. We're From not. Kyoto? We're you? From Kyoto. We. 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 Laura from the US? Is, is Laura, Laura from the US? No, she's from no, the, the United no. Kingdom. No? She's, she's not. not. She's not. No, she's not. Oh, she's, she's from not. the United Kingdom. Oh. She's from London? She from London? Hello. Hello, everybody. Is she? Is she from London? Is she from London? Is she from London? Yeah, she. She. Yeah, she is. But her parents are from Italy, but not from parents. UK originally. They. They are. They are not from UK or the US. They are not from. They're not from the UK originally. And Laura's first language, Italian. Is. Is. Laura. Is. No. Is Laura. She's not. No, because not we are talking not. about language. It is not. not. It is not. No. It's not. It's not. No, no, it's, it's not. not English. It's English. It is English. It's, it's English. English. It's, it's it. Selena and Carlo from Mexico. Are. It is. Is. is or are. 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 Selena and are. Carlo from Mexico. And you. No. No, I have. Yes, they are. No, they are not. They are not. No, they are not. From Brazil. They, they, they are from Brazil. It, it are. They are from Brazil. Are you from Brazil? Are you from Brazil? Are you from Brazil too? No. Brazil? No. I am not. I am not. No, I'm not. I'm from no, Peru. I'm not. I'm not. So, 
Your first uh, language Spanish. It's your first uh, language Spanish. Your first language. Your first language Spanish. Yes. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. It is. Wow. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Great, good. Yes. 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 Pretty good. No mistakes. Wow. Excellent. That's fantastic. Okay. Excellent. No mistakes. So uh, I think we're gonna stay. Uh, we're gonna stop in here. Remember, tomorrow you are going to investigate about syllable stress and also teacher, about numbers. Teacher. Hello, hello. Uh, yo llené en la plataforma de esa forma así y aún así no me reconoce todas las respuestas como correctas y acabo de verificar y de la misma forma la llené. Okay, so, algunas ocasiones creo que les dije la vez anterior que hay que fijarnos en, en mayúsculas. Oh, en, en, quiero ver. Vamos a ver. Ok, si acá por ejemplo, yes, we are, le ponemos así, entiendo que no lo va a tomar de manera correcta. O si iniciamos, por ejemplo, acá, ¿ves? si yo pongo R, mm. uh, o you are, con minúsculas, sí, you are, posiblemente no nos, no nos lo vaya a tomar de manera correcta. Ok, lo mismo acá, is, si yo lo pongo así, ok, tendría que ser con mayúsculas. Allí es de irlo, irlo, eh, uh, si nos equivocamos una vez hay que volverlo a hacer, ¿ok? Porque hay veces que son cositas pequeñas por las cuales no nos permite avanzar o nos dice que hemos cometido algún error. ¿Ok? And let me see, tenía algo que decirles. Ah, eh, syllable stress, esa es tarea para mañana, que ustedes investiguen de qué se trata el tema. Y además de eso, ya nos están pidiendo los números, ya no hasta el 10, sino que fíjense ustedes que nos empiezan a demandar un poco más. Entonces, esta semana por lo menos hay que ver si logramos aprender los números hasta el 200. ¿Ok? Entonces, esa es tarea para esta semana. No, no sé si hay alguna duda, alguna consulta. Si no, pues nos quedamos acá y nos vemos el día de mañana. ¿Les parece? Recuérdense, good evening es para decir hola y good, good night es okay. para decirnos. Jorge. Okay. Jorge, I think Jorge has one question. Jorge Ulises. Uh, una pregunta. Eh, toda la noche me estuvo dando problemas ahí. Cuando vi a, me decía de que eh, se iba a cerrar y se trababa como cuando, como porque si sí me desconecté como unas ocho veces quizás. Ok, cuando tengan algún problema de conexión, este, recomiendo que lo, que lo pongan en el grupo, como digan, este, lamentablemente tuve algún este, inconveniente con mi internet, por eso es que mi participación no ha sido continua pues me ha estado sacando de, 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 de la aplicación y me ha tocado volver a ingresar. Entonces ya los compañeros que están eh, a cargo de tomar todos esos apuntes, pues ya, ya se dan por enterados. Eso lo pueden colocar en el grupo, ¿ok? En el grupo puse cuando me salgo. Ok, ok, entonces ya... Oh, existe... no, ya no. Se actualizó y ya no me dio problema. 
Sí, porque algunas veces, digamos, en ciertos lugares llueve y en otros lugares no llueve. Entonces, eh, a mí me ha pasado como teacher que algunas veces aquí está lloviendo muy recio y se me entrecorta eh, mi clase. Entonces, yo lo que hago es notificarlo y, este, y reanudar la clase, reanudarla. Entonces, lo mismo eh, les, les sugiero a ustedes que si tienen algún problema técnico, que lo coloquen en el grupo para que eh, las personas que van tomando apuntes de, de asistencia o, o algún, algo relacionado a, al tiempo en que ustedes permanecen en la clase, pues tengan en cuenta eso, esos detalles. Ok. So, let us, acuérdense que hay una tarea perenne, que es aprender algo nuevo todos los días. Una palabra, una frase, una expresión nueva. Algo bien aprendido. Lo otro es que mañana vamos a estudiar um, stress uh, o oh, syllable stress. ¿Ok? Y para la semana tenemos los números que vamos a ponernos como, como meta hasta el 200. ¿Ok? La vez anterior les compartí Tendición. una página. Sí, les compartí una página en donde ustedes nada más eh, con, su, con su cursor ya señalan el número y ahí se les, les aparece la pronunciación y cómo se escribe en letra, ¿ok? So eso, esa página está muy, muy bonita. Por ahí, en, sus, en los enlaces, deben de tener. Así que, let us see tomorrow, ¿ok? Good night, people. Let's see tomorrow, ¿ok? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you, See you tomorrow. 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 See you tomorrow.